There is a time for everything. A time to come to church and a time to go home. These were the last words of Nigerian pastor, tele-evangelist Temitokwe Balogun Joshua, popularly called TB Joshua. We are live here, if you are just joining us, at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Ikotun, Lagos, where you can see right behind me, we have church members. I've been here since morning, since it was announced that the pastor and founder of CSCOON, TB Joshua, have passed on. We've been speaking to different people since morning. A lot of women. Watch this paper. A lot of women crying, old women, widows. They've been telling us about the wonderful works of the late pastor and founder of Church, Synagogue Church of All Nations, right here in Ikotu. We'll be taking you around the church to speak to even more people to tell us about the life and times of TB Joshua, who was born on June 12, 1960. He was meant to turn 57 in a couple of days. In a couple of days. He had announced earlier that he won't be celebrating his birthday this year as a result of the pandemic. Join us as we take you to speak to other people. in the church they are at parade I said no as a long party citizen the, 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 the process is very what what we are saying I am we are not happy we are sad because it's the one that is making everything this legal to move right from the airport to the ordinary citizen we don't we we are living best there is where you go to bank and you borrow money because of an hotel what, what business do you think we have here there is no construction. There is no any business that we are doing here that we are telling. People that come to church is what we lodge. None that they are doing partnership. But my brother, we are not happy. We are, we are, we are grieved. We are in tears. And I think that Jesus Christ died in the age of 33 years. Man of God, T.B. Joshua, died six days to 53 years of age. Three, six days to 58 years, 58 years of age. He told us that the, the, the celebration, you should do it at home. Go to the underprivileged. The physical challenger do the, 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 the birthday. He was telling us something in, in the spiritual realm, but we do not understand. Okay. Yes. Since you were there yesterday yes. at the mountain, yes. can you give us exactly the last moment? The, the said, last moment. There may be something that we have pointed to you. The last understand. moment that they gave us a word, which you watch today, 10 o'clock, Ibanwe TV. 
that it will be broadcast live what is happening in India that are circulated around the world that are the major causes of the these infections that we are seeing around. Are you getting me? That him, him himself in particular is tired, that he wants to rest, and he left. That was the last one. Lucky DA in Abu. Yes. We, we, are, we are on a sad mood. Right as I'm talking to you, and my name is Lucky D.A. Nabo. You know, the moment we are now, we are not happy. Because majorly, where we give a direct news, the news we receive will be different. But we do not go by that. The man of God that you are, we are hearing now, even when I, was, I heard the news, I was perplexed. I was dumbfounded. It was like a, a shock unto me. 
because but when I, I, I did not believe the man of God actually he died. I came out and I said no, he cannot happen. But when I look at the church area, I saw the flag I fly. I said, wow. He gave me a signal that something important was down. So the man of God equation is a philanthropist. He is the one that makes us to live here. Whatever business you are seen doing and around this environment is based on the fact of the man of God. Because it makes us to live. Even when COVID has been existing, people in this environment, they live as if there was nothing like COVID-19. Are you hearing me? He maintained the Quran. He respect the government to the best of his ability and to the satisfaction of everyone. We wake up this morning and we have this shock news. And we are not happy. We are sad. Because yesterday was at the mountain. And he gave a word that he was tired. And he want to rest. And today, people should watch at the television, Emmanuel TV, that we, we have a news. The news was that something is happening in India that has been an, a cause to the world. That everybody will see that the Emmanuel TV will telegraph it live and direct. So, the news we woke up to see this morning, I think it's a shocking news. And I believe that uh, God himself has a way of doing this. Because physically, we, we are human. And what we are seeing may not be the way God look at it. Because Jesus Christ died in the age of 33 years. A man of God, six days to, to come. In June 12, he will complete 58 years. And I also believe that uh, if it is the will of God, let the will of God be prevailed. We, we, we admitted that in our own faith. But we, 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 at least we are on a great loss. Are you hearing me? The whole world, not in Nigeria, or Bolo, Peru, or Olomosho, or uh, Lagos. No, the world at large, we are in pain and in grief. And we believe that God himself will restore us to normalcy. Thank you. Joshua, he don't serve many souls. He don't turn prostitutes into God. Turn all sorts of manner, all people. If you don't judge nobody before, even if you stay for a face, you accuse them. You're not gonna say no word. Take Joshua, and a man of God, as I know. Even though many times I don't fail for enter for the church, but as I see him, now God is there now. I saw him for everything. He, he helped deaf person. He helped blind person. Everything now true. Everything talk about the Joshua, not true. That is, not a bad person. But now, as he die, I am sorry. Because they say he woke yesterday, and today he just sleep. But for that year to live, even if you reach 160 years, you know, people enjoy the game, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. That is, he don't reach all place, and his life is fine and well. So I say, may his soul rest in perfect peace. In not only Nigeria, across the world, and the whole world, and it's a glorious exit. It's a glorious exit. It's a glorious living in the Lord. Eh? So, uh -uh. Yes. Pastor and a nationwide pastor when yes. and uh, according to all his teachings and uh, sermons they have been giving, yes. uh, he will try to teach out some lessons for us that we can as a nation in Nigeria we can also learn from God. Let me tell you, man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, has been saying uh, many, many things. He said Nigeria should go into agriculture. He has been preaching to the youth to the young and to the old. He, there's nothing he has not mentioned. He has been saying all these things, but Nigerians are very hated and they don't want to re repent. He has been preaching the message of salvation, sanctification, and the power of the Holy Spirit. He has been doing it. There's nothing he has not said. All these things that happened, he said it in 2013 and 2014, and it has come to pass because he has been saying it. God is calling him because he even said that hey, in 2023, if we have anybody that is a politician, we should just tell the person to withdraw because hey, many things are going to happen. Yes.
Do you, do you now hear somebody say, witnessing what, what he said? So he has said it. And this thing, and no prophecy that he said that is not coming to pass. It must surely come to pass. And I'm a living witness to what he has been saying. So God is telling him to come and rest because Nigerians, the world, they don't want to hear and they don't want to repent. And I'm, that is my prayer is that God help Nigerians, your own children, your own born again children in Nigeria, in Africa, in the whole five continent of the whole world. Help them so that they will stand strong and finish strong and finish well. I know that some some pastors they, and their so-called prophets, they may be rejoicing at this and that, that, that. But I'm telling you, <laughs> the man is resting at the bosom of Abraham. That is why you see me here. With the, with the talk of things, um, Pastor T.B. Joshua. Yes. He's a great man of God, and we all know that. And in Singapore, can we still have with somebody? If you are just joining us, we are live at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Ikotu, Lagos State, where it was announced this morning that popular Nigerian evangelist and founder of the church, T.P. Joshua, has passed away. Ninety three. That's your better shoshi. Only my be white by Lori Oke. But we are by ah, we are spirit of Lord. We are not by you. Spirit of Lord, we are by you. 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 We are Tyson, my son. But I'm a 
We are just joining us, we are live at the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Ikotu, Lagos State, where it was announced earlier this morning that the founder and popular Nigerian evangelist T.B. Joshua has passed away. You have heard from different people share their accounts and their experiences with the late evangelist. Many have said a lot. The fact that he's a, he's a strong, a great uh, philanthropist, a giver, and 
you have heard a lot of people talk about the many miracles they had performed. My name is Olua Femi Daudu, and kudos to the men behind the camera, Shego Odoayo and Bode. Don't go like this, you're not being a Nazi news, you go nice for your head, you go